Fit, what's on, happening? Seven no no. What's happening? What's happening? Happy New Year. Hey, yeah. hey. Welcome to yeah. another episode of Barbershop Stories, the podcast. First of all, I just say ho 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 to all the hoes and the non hoes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Oh, we glad you made Happy it to holiday. 2020 to see us do this thing, man. We got a special guest here, man. We got our uh, TSL Fetty, all the way from Bessemer, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, is it oh, Bessemer? Oh, Bessemer. It's Bessemer. That's right, Bessemer. With that's Bessemer. In the, in the, in the with that in the back. Okay, well, that's what's happening. We're going to go ahead and get right on into it. I know we're about a minute, two, maybe three late. But, uh, TSL Fetty. It's all good, but we got him here, though. What up, Fetty? What's that? Well, I got to let my man, let my man hey, tell him what we no in the building, man. You know we got that info, man. We in here. That's right. And I'm comedic narrator, how cut, Schlanger, Ben and Mac, and we're going to get this thing right on over the thing. I'm in 2020. Fuck that. Right. Fuck the building. I'm in 2020, 20, motherfucker. 20, 20, <laughs> nah. Let's go with it. Where the dude fade up? What's happening, man? I'm chilling, man. I'm, I'm happy to be here. A new year, new vibe, new man, all that. Yeah, a whole bunch of folks ain't made it here, man. So, hey, that, that's something to be excited about to take a shot to that. Somebody die every day. Mm-hmm. It's, hey, it's a good thing to be up in there. Mm-hmm. No doubt. Yeah. Well, yeah. fit it. Off top, man, we hear a lot about you. See you moving in the street. Every time I talk to Courtney, that nigga was like you was in Saskatchewan one day. Talked to him another day, said you was in North Lebanon. Yeah. Talked to him again, he said you just bought some teeth from goddamn the Sultan of Italy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he said you was in the A. Yeah. So that means yeah. you're moving. Working. You know what I'm saying? Tell, tell us a little bit about that movement. What what got Fetty so hot? What make Fetty hot? What make Fetty different from other artists that got you moving the way you move? I'm going to say, uh, I wouldn't say hot, but I, like a thing that got me like righteous, like yeah, I can't say hot season right now. Say hot yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You don't want no cold yeah. nigga do it. That nah. mean you dead. You either nah. hot or you're not. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I don't know. I just think, man, like I'm just different all around. Like my music, I don't talk about the same, same old stuff. Like I got different vibes. My music, different vibes. Like if you if you go through my playlist and my track list, like everything well put together. Like it ain't just. How y'all know, like, young people, like, around my age group, like, 21, 20, and 19, like, the younger group, you feel what I'm saying? They talk about just ignorant stuff, op, shoom, shoom, this and it. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about a little bit of everything, like, What's going on and everything you? I'm talking about, like, I talk about real life situations, like, dealing with my life, like, from robberies, people getting killed, shootouts, you know what I'm saying? I talk about it. I talk mm-hmm. about, I let folks know my real life, if you get what I'm saying, because I feel like your fan base deserve to know you. Yeah. So you talking about shooting, yeah. you just ain't. You know what I'm saying? I, I, ain't, I don't talk about just going out here doing this. And I'm talking about like things I done did. Like, I done robbed before. I done got robbed before. Like, certain little situation. Like, just telling the truth, letting the folks know me and feel me, feel where I'm coming from. So mm-hmm. just establishing uh, uh, what the consequences of those situations True. is. That's that's the good and bad. Because I just believe, like, a lot of rappers just talk about the good. They don't talk about the bad. So, the so, so how, how can you get glory from just talking mm-hmm. about the good? I just, I never got that. I never got that point of view. But I feel like you gotta talk about the good and the bad so the people in righteous know the truth. Yeah. I remember, I remember uh, a song back with NWA. And boy, they talk about it, they'll beat you up, shoot at you, shot you, whooped you, but they were dressed in them kind of blue. Mm. They let you know now, you going yeah. to jail now after yeah. all that gangster shit. Yeah, mm. ain't worth it. Ain't worth yeah. it either. Another you thing. can't go. Ain't worth it, man. A lot, like, yeah, it ain't worth it, bro. Then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got a child. My child get here in February. You know what I'm saying? So congratulations, so, 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 man. Appreciate it. The whole appreciate world in the chain now. Oh, yeah. Boy or girl? A boy. Little boy. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. showing sure enough in the chain. Yeah, we in the band. Uh, so, man, man. Nah. <laughs> what's, your real, what's your real name, Fetty? Tadarius Conway. So all that TSL Fetty shit going to be Tadarius or Mr. Tadarius when it's yeah. time. <laughs> hey, let's get Mr. Mr. T. <laughs> man, that's what's up, man. How old are you? I'm 21. 21. You got a lot of experience to just be just be old deuce one though, man. All experience, but it's good that you actually would take the opportunity to actually put the put the music in perspective and not just make it sound like you can go rob nigga and go to sleep at night good. Yeah. All that it's shit. Not, it's, it's a consequence to everything in your life. Uh-huh. Everything. Like everything. Well, you can be a good person, it's still a consequence to being a good person. Honestly. No. Speak on. You ain't gotta bother nobody. In trouble, mm-hmm. trouble find you sometimes. You can mm-hmm. be in the, in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? The good got a consequence too. It ain't just the bad. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, where you come from? I mean, I like that. You, I, I like your broad view on it. Uh, 
on, on, on where you say your flow coming from. You know, you say you coming from, like I said, uh, like I like to say, the, the, the imagery that, that we project and usually be either what we came up around, what we came up in, or yeah. what we seen, you know what I'm saying? All a mixture of all and, that. And what you saying, like I feel like if a rapper talking about anything then what he done seen, saw, heard, or done himself, this it's it's a lie. You know what I'm saying? If you if you rapping about anything outside of it, boats, you lying. And your music and whatever else you lying. <clears throat> well, it ain't got to be what music can be just with life period, you lying. If you ain't living in them folk characteristics right there, what you done seen, done, heard, or done. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to ask you that too. Seen, done, uh, heard, or done? No. What, what you done done, seen, or heard? Okay. It's three. I said four. Okay. three. Well, no, okay. I was about to ask you that too because you know you got a lot of cats. I'm talking about rock, like, like in rock wise. Okay, like, yeah. If you, if you rapping about anything outside of it, them, that, that, that group of three yeah. right there, you lying. It's a okay. lie. Oh, okay, lie. okay. Okay, because you know, because you, you got to remember now, you do have some great movie writers and storytellers too. True. They can be telling it in third True. person. But just like I said, it ain't even got to be dealing with rap. It ain't, well, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't even got to be dealing with rap. Whether you in the barber shop right now, gossiping, you can only gossip about something you done seen, heard, or done. You can't gossip that. about nothing outside of it. I got it. I'm you know. Just, yeah. You know what I'm saying? In regular life preference, you feel what I'm saying? You can't talk about yeah, nothing yeah. outside of them three. Them I'm three mean it. a lot. Yeah. So if you rapping outside of them three, you telling lies to your... So you, so you just bullshit. Yeah, you bullshit. Right. That's basically where you coming from. Oh yeah. All right. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. If that's your philosophy, man, roll with that. Cause my thing is, I, mine ain't far away from it. Or well, you know, I think pretty much everybody likes to hear stuff that they can relate to. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what it boils down to. Uh, the stuff that you can sing, hear, and done, you can relate to it. And spitting that is, is that type of reality. It, it grasps a crowd that's probably. That's their reality, you know what I'm saying? Or that's somebody's uh, uh, reality that they've been around, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of influenced them uh, or, or uh, rubbed off on them or, or made them see it from their perspective mm -hmm. to the point to where they felt it, you know what I'm saying? But they, they had a friend or somebody in that situation, family member in that situation. True. But uh, I don't know, when you rapping... I don't knock it, though. When you, know you, rap when you rapping... Do you particularly hear the beat and then those stories come or do you have those stories already in you? I think cause, ready cause, cause I don't I don't write that much. So half of the time it be the vibe the beat give me. The, the beat is so always the type of beat and you and I just hear talk about, you. I just talk about my life, basically. Whether it's from female like females or uh, situation that they have robberies, me robbing, me getting robbed, shoot, shootouts, you know what I'm saying? Anything, it's, it's been my real life. Yeah. If you listen to my music, that they have, like, it they have. Yeah. Everything in my music, they have for real in real life. Yeah. And I think that's real. And I let folks know the good and the bad. I don't lie about nothing. Like, I don't got no shame in nothing. I ain't got no pride in the way, none of that I let people know. What, uh, what inspired you to start rapping? Was it through some of those stories and some of the things you live, you just said, nigga, this shit will sound better on a better on the record. I can put this shit down. I mean, being honest, nah, I ain't I never wanted to rap. Like this wasn't no dream of mine, none of that. Like I was a football player. Just being like, man, this is a guy on the shoot. Like I wanted to play football. I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, making it football, but it ain't even go like this. Third round play. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> you played in high like, school? Yeah, I played in high school. We lost. Had a couple of offers, you know what I'm saying? It just didn't work out for me. I probably went to state and played, but end up just trying to go be a regular student, you feel me? And they ain't work out too well. A robbery situation took place. Well, I took one of the robbers' guns, shot it down with it, you know what I'm saying? It turned into a whole little, you know what I'm saying? Robbery going back, inside job, little sit up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I talk about that though, you feel what I'm saying? Cause I feel like folks need to know that. In one of your songs? Yeah. Or all of them? I talk about it just period. Whether it's music or just social media or whatever, I let folks know the truth. I ain't got no shame in the truth. Man, the truth gonna shine on, on his own. One, yeah. one this how much. This how much state. Yeah. Okay. That's something else. You go to college and getting caught up in shit like that. Why you in school or you just out there kind of in the hood? Yeah, I know what I'm saying. I was in, I was in school doing this right here. It was, it was like a little setup that took place like in the dorm, like in the dorm building. You feel like a little setup inside y'all. Damn, Somebody could have seen coming, but you don't realize to out there, huh? You feel what I'm saying? Uh, it's it, it funny now, though. Cause like you, 
man. I'm posting, man. Man, the signs, cuz. The well, signs. I'm glad you're here in 2020, man. On Bob yeah. Shop Store to fuck with us. You still doing your music. You still what you still doing in the show? You doing the show? Yeah, I, t- I did turn yeah, down. I did, I, did, I did turn down two shows recently though. But they were trying to like basically like lowball me. And like when I mean what I mean by lowball is like this year that just passed, I was getting paid like from five to seven fifty for a show. Mm-hmm. So it's to the point now. I know I can attract more folks to my music doing numbers right now. You get what I'm saying? So I know you're not finna just be trying to give me this same amount of money for a show when you're gonna attract this crowd or that crowd. And I just made this. So basically, you lowball me. And you made money off me. I ain't even make money off myself. So. Well, well, let me ask you this. Just on a perspective thing, is it a spot that you already did a promoter you already worked with before? True. Well, I'm asking. I'm asking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or is it a new promoter going I just, to a different I just feel market like, that you I just feel like it's kind of my fault too because I, um, I kind of make stuff get too too much to a relationship side instead of a business you side. You feel what I'm saying? So now I'm on my business tip right now. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't mm-hmm. on none of that right now because I got to eat now. Like I told you, like I got a child on the way. Like I ain't never experienced it before, so I'm trying to be as prepared Man, as possible. Awesome. You feel me? So my child don't go through nothing I went through, been through, you know what I'm saying? None of that. Live how I live, came up how I came up, just trying to make a difference, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got booking uh, management or, or contact information, you know what I'm saying? Or, uh, you know, somebody that you go through? Yeah. Management sure. team or anything? Yeah, I got a manager. My manager's staying in Vegas right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm, I'm sure you'll, you'll drop that information on the phone here another on the end of this segment, you know what I'm saying? Let, let the good folks of Bob Shop Stories, episode 25, hear everything they need to know about TSL Fed and how to get in touch with it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can follow me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, at TSL Fed, you know what I'm saying? Just tap in with me, man. No lies, no capping, you know what I'm saying? Transcell lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? It's a way of life, positive vibe. Yeah. With, uh, with your music, what was the first song that did numbers for you to let you know that this shit was for real? Because, you know, a lot of times artists make music and it's like, it's fun. But it, it turned from fun to, I can oh, write you shit, do this. I can, this shit can be a business. Yeah. What song did that for you? Well, I got a song called Cash Cow. Mm-hmm. That's tight, too. Yeah, that I got a song Cow. called Cash Cow. When I, when I, I write you didn't even know Cash Cow was going to turn out like that, but it turned out like that. Like, mm-hmm. I ain't even think it was going to be what it was. I, just, I was just making music. And they let me know right there, like, it's time to be serious. Because I had been rapping, but I just wasn't taking it serious. Like, I've been rapping a total of, like, a year and five months. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I just, i probably been serious about eight months. Right, yeah. you're taking the truth. Yeah. Well, that's good, but, but you said one key thing, though, when you was like, uh, I'm going I'm to stop just being so friendly with it and just keep it busy. You know what I'm saying? Establish it. But, but remember, though, too, every, every situation you walk in, man, sometimes it can be different. Because sometimes the benefit may outweigh the funds in some cases. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, like, for an example, I'm going to give you an example. You remember Comic View? Dev Comedy Jam? Uh, Dev Jam. Comedy. Yeah, Dev Jam. Uh, Kevin Hart, Hard to Sit, all that, right? Those shows, as big as they are, how much you think you get paid for going on there? Just old guesstimation. There ain't no right or wrong answer. Just guesstimation. You talking about with a crowd like that? Yeah. Big as that war now, forty like 10, fifty million people. They probably about probably about twenty thousand. No, what they paid you was I think your travel and an opportunity to be seen by the eighteen million folk. Now, some guys turned it down, but the guys who took it, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, them type of them exactly. folks. Yeah, now they what they is today. Yeah, yeah. so you know now because of course you got some shows you got to get your money, but you got some shows. The opportunity may be bigger than a thousand dollars because they can say, All right, we'll give you two thousand dollars, but we won't add your signal. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Or, or niggas will make sure you get out here and let you stay in the room, and then we'll put you in front of 10 million folks. You know, you're fine. True. So, when you leave there, I can shit, gain, I can gain all that. Yeah, I see yeah, what you're saying. A thousand go to a shit, TSL fit, man. Here, yeah. I tell you what, just give us 75. All right, we'll take 75. You can be easily be there, easily. It varies, I think. Yeah, so it's a situation thing, man. A lot of them, they case by case, because you may have a promoter say, I'll tell you what, bro, I'll give you the 750, but I got the 12 dates. Consecutive. Or i just give you a thousand, we're going to let you do this one. Yeah. So, yeah, so a lot of times, just hear them out and see if it's worth your while, you know what I'm saying? I got what you're saying. Yeah, man, because a lot of times, those situations, they be a case by case. Basically. You got to look at it from a different standpoint. Though. Yeah, yeah. Right. but I always have your business standpoint, your right. talking points, but... 
just hear them out because it may be something like, you know what, cuz? I tell you what, we just take the room and all that, but nigga, we finna go Madison Square Garden. We ain't supposed to be on this bit, but they find you searching and then it just make work for you. Yeah, that's what you It can happen just like, like that, dog. And then I think we're selling music now. Yeah, that's the goal. Yeah. Be in the first. Yeah, bro. Be in the first. You was the set. What's some of the cities you, you've already, you know, performed through? Uh, I performed in uh, Texas, of course, Birmingham, uh, Montgomery, Huntsville, uh, what a Troy. You know, I had a couple places, for real, for real. For real. Mm -hmm. okay. Georgia, I performed in Georgia a couple times, probably like three times in Georgia. Like the All this over the eight months that you say you've been? Yeah, over, much, over since I've been taking yeah, everything serious. Like, everything, it's been a process, but I'm, I'm good with the process because I'm making progress, you feel what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. if, I, if you look from where I first started a year ago to now, like, I see so much, like, it's a big a big gap, like, a, a improvement, like, mm -hmm. big gap. Cause, like, music, from music-wise to who I am now, like, all around, like, you see a big gap. You got to be your own biggest fan. You see, if you don't believe who whoever will, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be your own biggest fan. And once you start doing that shit, man, you'll see it just elevating, then you gotta separate yourself from the average artist. Yeah. Cause you know how everybody say, everybody sound the same, but everybody don't do the same business. True. So yeah, once you go to doing that, you separate yourself from the average individual who just saying, I'm doing this shit to get some pussy. Yeah. A lot of niggas doing this shit just to get some pussy. Yeah. But if you're doing it right, you're gonna get that anyway. That's gonna almost be, but not the nightmare. You know what I'm saying? It'll be yeah. your discretion. But yo, take care of the business first, man. It is, it's gonna work out for sure. As long as you got some activity brewing, what I like to say, man. Activity, that's where it run. Huh? The that's right true. activity, you know what I'm saying? True. So, you know what, if you moving like that, keep it moving. Uh, that's a lot of ground to cover in, in eight months. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, especially if you really work in those cities, cause when you hit them cities, man, you know, uh, you know how you hit a club, you know, if you've been doing it, you know, straight to the DJ booth, your team cover the club, you got flyers, or information, or anything you want. You know what I'm saying? Uh, leave the print. Leave it, it's like, like Ben said, you, you going there to leave something with them people to let them know TSA have been through that bitch, you know what I'm saying, at all times. And if you moving through them bitches like that, I I can understand why you growing and, and uh, and like I said, looking on your page and, and seeing the views and the video popping is all explainable because activity makes that stuff happen. You know what I'm saying? If you out there fucking with the people, the people gonna fuck with you, man. That's just 100, you know what I'm saying? It, it, that's just how, you know, the only way I ever seen, you know it's what I'm true. saying? It's true though, it's true. You got, uh, you got well, I know you work with, shout out to the, the fellas over there at Witch, man. I'm oh, yeah, man. a motherfucker. I no said, nigga, you saw them niggas so cool. I said, you shot them out. And they said, what up, nigga? This all uh, motherfucker. No. Nah. That's your partner, man. Yeah, man. They're my brother, Booth, and my brother, Quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, okay. Sure. Oh, yeah, no they TSL? Y'all TSL up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 family, yeah. for sure. We got to know, you know, we got to know what the TSL stand yeah. for, where it come from. Trans-Cell Lifestyle. trans Lifestyle. You know, Trans-Cell Lifestyle. Lifestyle. You say, yeah. It got a meaning to it, you know what I'm saying? trans the Lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? It's about saying trans being you, being different, you know what I'm saying? Just being self. Everybody around me got an open mind. They got their own mind, you feel what I'm saying? But everybody on the positive tip. You know, so. What's up? I just want to be, I just want to be different. That's the label? Yeah. Okay. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. So being out of Belsma, man, when you first decided to go ahead and say, I'm gonna go and drop this song. Was the reception good? Were people eager to work with you? Yeah. And I, just, and I, and I guess the second half of that, are they still with you and eager to work with you? Yeah. Oh, well, that's, yeah. that's a good sure. thing. You know, because I'm sure you hear the talk in the street about Birmingham and Br Belsman where nobody wants to work together, but I don't really believe that. I mean, that. I think I'm breaking it, I'm breaking, I'm breaking that barrier though, cause I don't, like, it, it used to be that though. It mm -hmm. used to be like that, like Beth May don't want to work with Birmingham, but I didn't I didn't did songs with that many Birmingham artists, like mm -hmm. that many Birmingham artists. Like I ain't got no problem with it, you feel what I'm saying? that's good. Right there. Like I said earlier, man, keep an open mind cause shit, you never know who you run back into a year or two from now. They can be somewhere where you wanna get or you somewhere where they need to get yeah. and they like, man, this man, come on. Or boy no, boy you been hating since fucking two thousand nine, bitch. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It can be that easy too. So that's good, man. Keep an open mind, cause there's a lot of artists in the city 
and there's a lot of them that are great. We got talent, man. There's a we whole got, bunch we of got them. talent, like. A whole man, bunch we got a chance to beat, man. Cool. We got talent, man. Well, see, well, get what? You in the driver's seat? You yeah. got your steering wheel by one hand? Shit, nigga, it's gonna go where you want to go now. Exactly. Cause it, it is that. It is that. Uh, what you? I feel like you definitely say we got a chance to beat. Because uh, that business mindset that you say you got is going, you know what I'm saying, make all that, make all that happen. Like Ben said, you, shit, you got the steering wheel. Take that car where you want that motherfucker to go. But like I said, uh, you out there keeping the activity brewing, establishing value, you know. Of course, at some point, business is going to come into play. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what it, that's what, that's what it does once you go from the studio to... Uh, get that shit cleaned up to the point of where it can sell and, and, and compete and then turn around and then uh, start putting the face on it and putting your face out there. It, it's time to get that back and some, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what you're doing it for. That's what I feel like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, activity, run that shit, man. Man, i tell you something too, man. Because I, I don't know if you know, I do promotion and marketing too. I did that before I got into stand-up comedy and working at the radio station. B949 would do. But uh, main thing, man, about about connecting with different artists and shit is that everybody end up sharing each other's platform. See, like a lot of niggas be trying to do this, like, I don't want them, I don't want them, but they don't realize they heard they said too. Because they just say, a dude shoot a video, he get 2.5 million views. They don't own this hoe. Guess what? What up? Oh, that, oh, that's fatty. So then what? Pow, you might have pulled shit, 700,000 on that. Or vice versa, you know what I'm saying? That networking, man, that shit's so important. Like, it's like, man, it, it, it's, 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 it's no end to it. You know, some of them ain't gonna be the best experience, but shit, that still can work for you. Yeah. Because you keep yourself relevant. So if you working on a project and it take you a year to do, in the meanwhile, the features, appearances, show up, well, uh, hey, what's up, this TSL fed, hey, man, nigga, what blah, blah, blah. That shit gonna keep you ready, man. you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't realize that, like Jay-Z, Jay-Z 50. Yeah. How is that nigga still relevant? Right. Because everybody who come out and they go, they, they moving, guess what? Yeah. If you do a verse for your son, yeah, you gonna tell your jigger no. But guess what? The song you hit, jigger on that whole too. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, you, you definitely making the right moves, man, here. Yeah. Just stay on it, but keep that keep that networking line open. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I always started off business that should have ended up business. Start off fucked up, it's gonna be hard to get into the business. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, yeah. So what what's coming up next, man? Uh, man, we think we're gonna go to Vegas probably about uh, when? Okay. About a week and a half. Yeah, about a week and we gonna go to Vegas, you know what I'm saying? He ain't taking no bait. We finna go down there, finna work, video, you know what I'm saying? Leave some Being promotion the down there, you know what I'm saying? Be in the truck. Okay. See, you know what I'm saying? Think we're gonna go to Bay. And then I got another interview coming up with uh Tampa. It's just a uh, radio podcast in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Got something coming up with them on the uh seven. So, you know what I'm saying? Roll. I'm finna do that interview, then we shoot in the bay. Long bay though. Keep it moving. Yep, hey. Oh. Just leave a footprint down, man. Everywhere you go, goddamn, rub your feet. Leave something, I'm telling you, man, because it's good work. You're going to come back. I'm going to change the level. Right yep. I'm going to change the level. Right. What, you, what you got around here going on, man? Like, show why Will somebody come check you out around here? Anything coming up around here? Oh, that no, you I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. So right now, I'm just... I'm, I'm focusing on that, like I said, that business standpoint, like right now. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say I'm selling myself, but I'm getting myself prepared for like, to uh -huh. get ready to spread out. I ain't, try, I ain't just trying to be here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just try to be, like it's good to be an artist, just like, like, cause you can get rich just from being an artist that just do shows in one state. You can still get rich either way it go. But I'm trying to be, I'm, I'm trying to be more than local, you feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to expand. Get outside the line. Oh, yeah. Expand, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't scared to do it, so I ain't scared to move, so. You the whole thing pay out, you know what I'm saying? You can't be, you can't be. You gotta, you gotta put that guy in that car and go. And uh, I mean, uh, like we were saying earlier, it's, it's here. And uh, the talent is here. The the, the workers, they here. We got me, me and B uh, like to say, it's not enough people that will invest in in uh, entertainment here. 
You know what I'm saying? Inner city entertainment. Let yeah. me get, let me get, keep straight. Niggas will fly niggas in here all day, and you know, people, people like, I can't, I ain't, I ain't mad at that either, because you know, you gotta get your money. But inner city entertainment is is not a I lot of collabing and uh, investors, you know, in, in 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 that part of the business here. We got the, you know, how many people got to come from here? How many people got to pop up on song? How many people got to pop up in other people's credits and shit? How many people got a feature on other niggas' album for us to realize the talent is here? You know what I'm saying? True. Uh, the state really ain't building talent. The talent ready. You know what I'm saying? Development and, and moving around, activity brewing, all that shit. Yeah, that, that shit got to happen. But Development, you know, they come with time, though. But, but so, there ain't no big fella. Yeah, so you, so you got to push that line and go on and get out there and put yourself on them other scenes and... and, and get in them lanes and compete in them lanes too. And when I say compete, I'm talking about compete in the sense of I'm out here working too. That's what I'm that's what I mean. I ain't talking about in the, you know what I'm saying, like y'all playing a basketball game against each other. I'm talking about competing. You know, you know what to an artist to an artist it yeah. it get down and dirty yeah. like that. But yeah. as a business man you going in uh you know what I'm saying? Like they, 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 you moving and shaking. Yeah. 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 So for, 20, so, so for 2020, we know you said you're finna move, you know you're finna take a few trips and all that. For 2020, if you had to go, and it's January the 1st, 2021, what would you have want to see TSL fit accomplish? The goals, you know what I'm saying, that you had set for these next 12 months, because it is the first. Happy New Year again, motherfuckers. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's New Year's Day. Right. So next year on New Year's Day 2021, where you see yourself, and where you see yourself uh, done put together and accomplished. I ain't gonna just say myself, I say like my whole label, I see like, you know what I'm saying, my label being bigger, you know what I'm saying? Expanding it too, you feel what I'm saying? Cause we are the brand at the same time, we gotta brand ourselves the right way. Whether that's with merchandise like clothes, phone cases, whatever, like expanding everything, you feel what I'm saying? Outside of just myself. And then I got another artist too, you feel what I'm saying? Like, so. I just, you know what I'm saying, I hope I got a, I have a deal, the right deal, you know what I'm saying, people get messed over with deals, you know what I'm saying, 360 deal, this and that, you know what I'm saying, like, so I hope I can get the right deal before the year old with, you know what I'm saying, most shows, you know what I'm saying, in a, in a, in a stable and loyal fan base, you know what I'm saying, they follow me wherever I go, you feel what I'm saying, so, that's it, for real. Shit, I don't think that's bad, I don't think that's too much to ask for. No, I don't <laughs> think it's bad to be cautious of, of some of that stuff, and, uh, they are not be mistaken. Some of our, you know, favorite artists on on some of those deals that you yeah. name, and so it's all about the structure and, and where you coming from and what what your position is going into that room with that person with that deal on the table. That deal may be super beneficial. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It, it, uh, sometimes you you're right though. It depends. It's, it's, how you, you, it's how you carry yourself and what you do, what you make happen. Yeah. That's what it about. So uh, sometimes what didn't work for the last man may, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, may work for the next. So, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't get caught up in just thinking about, oh, no, I ain't taking this, you know what I'm saying, or that, you know. Uh, sometimes you'll look back on that. Yeah. Like, you know, that, not saying that would be your situation, but, I, you know, I've been around the bush long enough to know, I, I you know what I'm saying, to, to know that there's some stuff getting left on the table sometimes, and you know what I'm saying. You never know what could have been done with that once you look in hindsight. Gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's what's happening with, with TSL Fetter. If you would, man, give them your social media, give them your website, any way they can get in touch with you. They want to book you, oh, yeah, interview man. you, anything. Well, yeah, give me well, all book. booking, man. Y'all know what I'm saying? Just hit my email, booking at gmail.com. You know what I'm saying? All my social medias, from Facebook, Twitter, to Instagram, TSL Fetter. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can find me. You know what I'm saying? Contact me if you want to book me, too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's going on yeah. with, these, with, with the bid, man? What, 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 um, the one you said, we need to pull something what, up back here, man. Yeah, that cash yeah, cow. Let me hear it. Cow. I listened to a few cuts, you know, um, when, when uh, Ben hit, hit me on you, that you came through the station. <coughs> and, you know, they did an interview now and now, man. But, you hey, got your phone connected with that play right cash cow for the Bob Shaw yeah. store. You got it connected right now? Uh, oh, you know, I'm nah, I ain't that. Phone cord. Okay, yeah. No, that ain't mine. No. We were doing it with the remote last time. The remote on the yeah, yeah, we're doing we're it. Live. Okay. We're going to ride at Bob Shop, so we'll be over with a few minutes, but we got to let y'all hear that cash down. The cash down hard. No but doubt. for real, old Sam, 
Motherfucker might sound better than T.S.L. rap. Yeah, you know what I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's better. I think that's more genuine. What y'all think? I think that's a little bit more genuine for T.S.L. Petty to just spit that whole, it's his song now. We asked him to freestyle, no shit like that. Cash Cow, T.S.L. Petty, Bob Shop Story Podcast. Episode 25, TSL for the cash count. What you want to, what you want the, want the whole song? No, no, just the hardy part of the song they're going to make them folk look for it when they go back and they listen to it. They're going to be like, man, I got it. Hold on. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and make them look for it. Uh, see what I mean? But damn. Then see that dude yeah. standing up. He like the freestyle too. Who? Oh. And they that standing up. <laughs> they call them PN. Yeah, that's PNR right there. That's, that's Ernest. That's Mama D. Oh, oh, yeah. Mama D. Hood. Ernest. Hey, let me see your phone real quick. Yeah. 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 My speed ain't loud. Right let me see it, though. Uh-oh. T.S.L. Fetty. He's getting ready. Yeah. 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 Next week, Barbershop Stories, the podcast, episode 26. We got Amos Scott coming in with the masturbation conversation. She will be here live, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can check us out on YouTube live at MacMan Entertainment. That's M-A-C-M-A-N Entertainment. You also can uh, check me out every morning, Monday through Friday, V949, um, Home Team Morning Show. Comedian Ms. B, Homer J, and myself, comedian narrator, how cut slanger Ben and Mac. Make sure you tune in, man. We ain't got nothing but the good shit. Uh, good in the hood. Look at here. Talent you need to know. That's every Tuesday. We fucking with uh, City of Birmingham, Bessemer, Outskirts, Saskatchewan, Brighton, Lipscomb, Center Point, Gate City. We, we fucking with you. We fucking with you. Just hold tight. If I ain't called you back yet, I'm gonna call you back on the airplane. So, mm-hmm. this, this don't trip now. I'm gonna call you back. I, I'm a line court, I'm gonna call you back. Okay. It just ain't gonna look just like the Bible say. It ain't gonna come when you want it to, but it's always gonna come on time. I promise you. You just be ready when that motherfucker call. But yeah, and then uh, what else we got coming up, man? We got a lot of big comedy shows coming up. Mofo Head and Face Three. That was uh that was done December the seventh. The uh, the comedy album that's coming out. iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, all your favorite download spots, Google Play. That's coming out probably in the next few weeks. And Mo Forehead and Face 3, the video is live at the barbershop too, man. It's a classic. You can check that out. Uh, it's going to be on Amazon. Then eventually we're going to move it to Amazon Prime. So when you go and buy shit off Amazon, you can pick up that Mo Forehead and Face 3 too. That shit can be yours. It can be in your phone. That shit can be in your phone, straight up. I ain't lying to you. Am I lying for it? Hell no. I ain't lying. It going to be in all right, now that's all the commercial and stuff right there. Uh, you sure? We're going to get on back to Mr. Fetty before we close out. Fetty, ready? What I'm saying, Jay? Out. Hey, to the cameras, however you want to do it. <laughs> Just leave him with something, whatever you want to do. All right, man. Uh-oh. Fetty. Goddamn Fetty. Fetty. So they look straight into the Oh yeah. Girl, you. Oh yeah, give it to him. I know you know better, do better. Yeah. I shoot for myself, fuck a stepper. Yeah. Uh pull up wherever, when never. Yeah. Uh I'm chasing it cash forever. Uh me going broke, never. Uh I thought I fuck out love for uh chasing this money getting cheddar. Uh I just pulled up in a Tesla, yeah, yeah. Uh, cash cow, yeah, I'm finna cash out, yeah I brought them racks out, yeah, these niggas mad now, yeah uh, They mad, cash cow, yeah, I'm finna cash out, yeah I brought them racks out, bitch in the script club with a ass out, yeah uh, yeah, I'm too wavy, yeah. got ten hoes calling me baby, yeah uh, At one time, me and Lil Market, J-Lock, Kobe and Crunch Time Lil Freak bitch been a hoe since 09, you to help record uh, yeah, you damn fit hey, in. Man, hey. hey man, that hey. What time is? Yeah, I'm talking about man. Hey, this has been a great episode. Barbershop Stories, the podcast, episode 25. Man, it's been a pleasure to sit here for Mr. Fetty to come up here and fuck with us for at least 35 minutes at a time. But we did repair him and reefer, so we good, <laughs> my nigga. Fetty, cash cow. 
And then his ass out. <laughs> Down the bitch with her hands out. <laughs> that was my favorite part. That's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. That's what he Yeah, man. But hey. Yeah, we out, man. I'm comedic narrator. How cut slang of Vanna Mac. And that is. I'm Sammy No No, man. Yeah, Y'all man. tune in for the info. That's right. Hey, we'll see you next week. Episode 26 with Amy Scott. The Masturbation Conversation. We'll see you next week at 8. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Masturbation. 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 Masturb